everyone welcome to 10 minutes to hired and happy halloween um this is where we bring you inside information from top companies like cbs um, to help you ace your interviews my name is amber champagne and today i'm joined by dan at cbs based in hartford connecticut um i kind of want to start off by saying this is just going to be a less of an overview um and more of what students should know the night before an interview and how to stand out in their upcoming interviews a uh, more generalized overview of resumes and hiring will be posted on the School of Business Career Development website um, on in case you missed it. So first, I kind of just wanted to ask if you can dive into just like a brief overview of the company um, and what makes it unique. Sure. So I'm actually here today with Edna, um, specifically the underwriting department, um, to talk a little bit about um, the company. So Edna is housed within the broader sort of structure of CVS. Um, so that actually offers like a lot of unique opportunities just because we are a really large company, um, Fortune 4 I believe. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities for growth um, within the company um, and a lot of different departments. Um, so we are, we are massive in scale um, and yeah, it's a really great place to work. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, and now, is there anything that students tend to be spooked about um, in the industry or anything else you'd want to add on that? Yeah, for sure. I think, I think um, at least when I was a student, the thing that seemed like the scariest prospect to me was definitely interviews. Um, mm -hmm. And I can see why that would be. You know, it's, it's definitely something that um, is a lot of pressure. Um, something I think that is a reason maybe you shouldn't be as scared about interviews is um, I personally can vouch for the UConn Career Center. I think they did a really great job um, preparing me. I did some mock interviews with them, resume prep. Mm -hmm. um, I think the sooner you can get used to being in an interview setting and talking to someone um, and realize it's not yeah, that scary, the better. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also think what helps with that, um, like he said, going to the uh, resume reviews, stuff like that with uh, the Career Development Office. You guys can go on Nexus, create the appointments. Um, also, you guys can just go to stuff like Career Tuesdays, Network, kind of learn how to talk with employers a little bit. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. Um, now I'm going to ask a few questions just to kind of help UConn students better understand what your company is looking for. So uh, what can UConn students do to best prepare for their interview? I think the best thing uh, that anyone can do to prepare for our interviews is to um, do your research, like look up some stuff about the company. Maybe our values would be a good place to start. Um, collaboration, accountability, caring, um, innovation, um, and kind of see where we're coming from with those. Um, definitely dress for success, I would say, for an interview. Um, and bring a note-taking device or a, a notepad, um, pad folio would be great too, just to show that you're, um, you're interested and you're, you're, um, you're taking this information in. Definitely also come with an idea of sort of what things specifically within the company you would be interested in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what departments, what projects you might like to do. Um, and once again, I can't, I can't stress enough how great the Career Center here is at UConn, so. Thank you. All right, um, so is there any uh, tricks students should do to stand out in their interview? Yeah, I mean, just be personable, be yourself. I think that, um, if it comes down to two candidates with very similar backgrounds on paper, um, what's ultimately gonna be the deciding factor is generally gonna be how we perform in the interview. So how, how well you mesh with the, the company culture, um, how easy it is to talk to you, stuff like that. So definitely just, just be yourself for sure. Perfect, okay. Um, so I know that you are a UConn alum, so I wanted to ask you if there was anything that you think uh, stands out about UConn students specifically. Yeah, I think um, I think UConn students, especially, um, you know, we're a big sports school and stuff. We have a really good sense of school pride, which I think really translates um, well to a bigger company like CBS Aetna. Mm -hmm. um, we just have like a lot of company pride as well. So I think that like will feel like a very natural fit. Also, bigger school, bigger company. Um, if you're used to, to being in this sort of um, environment and you like it, then it might be a good fit as well. There's certainly like a lot of people that I interact with um, on the daily basis, um, like a uh, good diversity of people too. So I'm, I'm not seeing the same people necessarily every day, um, which I enjoy personally, but um, yeah. That's a really great answer. Um, so, I mean, I was gonna ask how you chose one candidate over another um, with similar experiences. You kind of already answered it. Did you have anything else to add to that or was that kind of like the main? No, I think, that's, I think that's great. I mean, maybe it'll come down to technical skills, but I think it'll mostly okay. be the soft skills that the we're, skills. That okay. we're, that we're okay. evaluating in the interview. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Is there anything else that you want to add to our discussion today? Um, Oh no, we look forward to seeing you guys if um if you do end up applying um and hearing from you. Um happy Halloween. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, so thank you for taking the time to interview with us. Um we hope that students can watch this video and feel better prepared for their upcoming interviews or just have an easier time with deciding what companies to apply to. Um we're going to leave Dan's contact information down below. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And uh thank you for watching. Ten minutes to hire.